Hello everyone, in this video I will explain you how to save numerical or text data to a file in C. This video tutorial is organized as follows. First, I will provide a brief theoretical introduction. Basically, I prepared a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. A link to this post is given in the description below. And after providing a brief theoretical introduction, I will explain the code that you can see over here. If you think that this video tutorial is useful and interesting, please press the like and subscribe buttons. To work with files in the C programming language, we need to declare a pointer to the file type that you can see over here. Now, after defining the pointer, we can open the file by using the fopen function. Basically, we can write something like this, where file name is the C string that denotes the name of the file to be open, and mode is the C string denoting the mode of opening. And here are several commonly used modes. If you type R over here, then you open a file for reading. However, the file must exist before opening. If you use W, this basically creates an empty file for writing the data. If the file does not exist, it is created. If the file exists, then the content of the file is completely overwritten. So be careful when you use the write option. That is, if the file exists, it constant is completely erased, completely write from scratch, and new data is written from the beginning of the file. And another useful option is the append option denoted by A. This basically option appends new data to a file starting from the end of the file. If the file does not exist, then it's created and data is written. Of course, there are also other modes. However, for brevity of this introductionary tutorial, I will not explain them. Here it should be kept in mind that the function fopen returns a file pointer that can be used in other functions. For example, if the file could not be opened, a null pointer is returned. And this null pointer is very useful since we can write a simple test in order to determine if the file is open or not. This test can be used in order to make your code more robust. Now, there are many ways to write the data to the open file. For example, one option is to use the fprintf function and the another, another option is to use fputc function. And once we have completed the writing task, we need to close the file by using the fclose function. So fopen is used to, close, to open the file and fclose is used to close the file. And your code should be written between fopen F and fclose functions. So here is the C code that can be used to write the data to a file. This code will basically open the file called datafile.txt. It will write some data and it will close the file. The first step is to define a string literal that denotes the name of the file. Then here I define a counter that's used in this for loop where I print the data to a file. Okay, and here I open the file. I give the file name, that's the string literal, and I set the writing mode to write. Now, here I test if I opened the file or not. If I did not open the file, I simply print the message could not open the file and I return zero. I exit my program. Okay, and here in this for loop, basically, I write data to my file line by line. So what do I write? I basically write two columns. The first column is J, is the counter starting from zero until basically nine. The last value is nine over here. And the second column basically represents 1.2 times J. This is the value that I write in the second column. And you can see how my data is being formatted. So this whole 
code line with write one line in my file and then you will start from the next line and once I've completed this task I close my file and I return one okay so let us compile the file I click over here and I click on run and of course my antivirus program is complaining since it's executable file I executed my program and let's see what happened so you need to find the folder where your program is stored in my case the name of the program is writedata.c and here's the data file this is the text file and you can see the data over here you can see how it's been written now compare this part with our code and you can see how the data is being written over here first column is basically our counter and the second column is the value that's over here okay so let us modify this code in order to append the written values so over here I will change this mode parameter from W to A and I will simply compile my program and execute it and close this window let's go back to the folder and let's see the data file okay so you see the result over here basically the values are being appended after original execution of the program so this is where our previous program ended and from here we are basically appending the values in this program I use the function fprintf to write a complete string or series of characters to my file however you can also write character by character that is a single character at a time to your file so let's see how to achieve that so I wrote another code or another program that is a slightly modified version of the previous code here I change the file name and then I introduce here a, char a character uh, variable called character and this character is used in this for loop to basically write values or characters to our file and uh, let's immediately jump over here and see the for loop basically what I'm doing I'm starting from A and then I'm incrementing the character and I end, I'm ending up my loop at Z so what this code will do it will open the file and it will write all the characters starting from A to Z one character at a time so what happens you open the file you write the character then in the next iteration next character will write will be written immediately next to the previously written character and you repeat this procedure in the for loop so let's execute this code let us first compile it and let's execute it and let's see the result here is the result first character A and the last character Z okay that would be all for today I hope that you liked this video if you like the videos I create please press the like button and subscribe button thank you very much and have a nice day